Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we took on Elite Four Bruno, the second member of the Elite Four, Master of Rock and Fighting type Pokemon, I guess you could say. Now we're gonna take on the third member of the Elite Four, Agatha, the Master of Poison type Pokemon. And I have Lavender up front, because Lavender has Earthquake and Lavender is a ground type, so yeah. And, uh, in Generation, in Generation 1, there was no abilities for Pokemon, so like, for example, her Haunter will not have the ability Levitate, or her Gengar might not have, won't have the ability Levitate. So, like, ground type moves actually be super effective, so you don't have to rely on, like, second type Pokemon to get, to get, like, a uh, super effective hit then, because your other option it could be using a ground type move, so that's what I'm gonna do since I don't have any second type moves. Let's talk to Agatha. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Uh, Oak ta Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That uh, that old Duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with this Pokedex. He is wrong. Pokemon are for battling or for fighting. Okay, <laughs> Steven, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. Okay. I think in F Fire and Leaf Green, the, the word fights in her dialogue just replaced with battles. Yeah. Okay. Agatha wants to fight. Cool. So our first Pokemon's a Gengar. Gengar is like one of the best looking sprites in my opinion in the game. Honestly, look at that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go for the Earthquake. This Gengar is level 56, so wait, it levels higher than it. Nice. Earthquake hits. It's going to be super effective. And let's see. It takes it on hit. Awesome. Cool. Nice. Okay, so she sent out Golbat next. Okay, I'm gonna switch to Taba not Tabasco, but uh, Storm for this one, because Golbat's half flying type. So this Golbat's level 56, and Storm is level 64, so that makes Storm 8 levels higher than it. So yeah, we, we shouldn't have really that much trouble taking it out, but you never know what could happen, you never know. We could have a bad strand of bad luck or whatnot. <laughs> the Thunderbolt takes it out in one hit, awesome. Super effective, awesome. That's what I like to see. Okay, I guess that's about this Haunter. We'll switch back to Lavender for this one. So yeah, Robert is at the very top. Okay, cool. Yeah, Haunter looks pretty spooky. His sprite looks pretty spooky. Or its sprite looks pretty spooky. It's level 55, so nine levels higher than it. Let's go for the Earthquake. It hits. Awesome. It's going to be super effective. Haunter, Haunt, Haunt. I'm seeing Haunter in the anime, like when Ash and Misty and Brock were like in that uh, ghost town. It was kind of cool. I forget if that was in the, f I think that was in the first generation. There's also one where, uh, in the third, ge in third generation, when they were in Hoenn, May, Max, Brock, and uh, Ash went to like this, uh, one town, and I think that the um ghost type Pokemon were like causing a fiasco or uh, trouble or something. I don't know. So yeah, it could go nice. I'll take it. Okay, yeah. Then we haunt it with fainted. Cool. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got an next Pokemon. It's an Arbok. Okay. Nope, we will not switch Pokemon. Lavender's got this one. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, Arbok is level 58, so it's, it's it's six levels. We're six levels higher than it. Let's see how much this Earthquake does. It's going to be super effective, which is nice. And it faints it in one hit. Awesome. Okay, you're about to use Gengar. Or Agatha's about to use Gengar. Cool. This one's a higher level, I think. Yeah, it's level 60. Nice. Okay, let's go for the Earthquake. Maybe it'll take it on one hit, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't, you know? It's pretty... We're only four levels higher than it, so we might survive. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. Take it on one hit. Awesome. Nice. We defeat Agatha. Cool. Woohoo, you're something special, child. Thanks. Thanks for 5,904 Poké Dollars. You win, I see what an old duff, what the, what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. <laughs> okay, let's go into the next room. So Lavender did a great job in the fight, and then Storm also took out, took out that gold bat like a boss. So it's like, awesome. that was an awesome fight for us. There's Lance, okay. So, uh, let's see here. Let's organize our Pokemon. Oh, we didn't take any damage in that fight either. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's go for, uh, let's put Storm up front because you want to electric type Pokemon up front because the first Pokemon Lance will send out is a Gyarados and it's four times weak to, uh, to electric type moves. So, because it's water and flying. So, yeah. So, we put an electric type up front. And this has been the end of my Pokemon Yellow Walks Again part. The next part will take on Lance, the fourth member of the Elite Four, the final member of the Elite Four. So yeah, so this has been Draco again. I would like to mention again goodbye, and I'll just see you guys next part of my Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough Guide.